Hello, Destiny listeners. God bless you for tuning in on today. I am your host, Lady Cook, with your Destiny Talk. This is a talk show with a higher level of listening. We want to hear the things God speaks in His Word. Channel your inner strength and charge your destiny with empowered living. So stay tuned for motivation and activation towards your destiny. This week's topic, we are going to dive into shift, getting into your greater. We hope that you enjoyed the message. God bless you. Destiny listeners, destiny listeners, blessings to you all. Blessings upon blessings. What a mighty great day it is because this is the day that the Lord has made. Let's go right on into the message on today. We're talking about shifting into greater. How do we get ourselves in the position in our hearts and within our minds that greater is always on the horizon for the believer? So we know that uh, there will be times of tremendous shifting that takes place in your destiny. You're going to sometimes go from uh, wandering to possessing. My God, uh, you will own it. We've got to place ownership on the things that we know that God has outright promised us in his word, things that he has shown us, um, you know, in our visions and in our dreams and even shown us in his word. Um, God is shifting us. You know, we've got to, we've got to see this thing for what it really is. Um, you know, God is shifting things around. He's, you know, sometimes we could feel like he's might maybe even taking this whole world, um, you know, and he's turned it upside down. And he can certainly do that because we know that the world, the whole world belongs to God. The whole world is the Lord's. And so um and this is a message of encouragement, if you will, on this afternoon. I just want to get really deep down in your spirit with the word of God and have you to look at this thing. Have you look at it through the eyes of faith, as always, and also to have you process it or to, to see it from God's perspective, to see what God is doing. Because again, God has his hand upon us. He has his hands upon this earth, and he certainly knows exactly where we are right Right here in this moment of time. So whatever that whatever it is when we're trying to take ownership into something and when we're still trying to, um, you know, when we're still trying to go out and accomplish and dream and be and become and, and, and however, whenever we're trying to, um, you know, possess things, we've got to know that, um, you know, that there there's going to be opposition. Without a doubt, there's going to be opposition because the enemy does not want us, uh, you know, to own it. He does not want us rather, you know, to, to have anything that's great. <laughs> he doesn't want us to have anything that's great. And so we've got to say to ourselves. So here's where I want you to say to yourself and to write down here. If you have your pen and your paper, I want you to write down shift. We are going into greater shift. I am, make it personal, shift, I am going into greater. So let's look at our scripture of focus for today. It's coming from De- Deuteronomy, the first chapter, the eighth verse. It says, behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to, to their seed after them. How many of you know that we are the seeds of Abraham? We are, we are the seed that God has declared the promise that has been set forth in this very verse. That was verse eight of the first chapter. So in God's timing, in his will, he's going to shift or turn things around for you and I. That's what the word says, because the word says he's going to give it to us. We are going to possess it. So whatever it is, whether it be a business, whether it be property, whether it just be a peace of mind, you know, if, if it's healing that you're seeking after, whatever it is, it is time for you to shift in your mind to know that you can possess it, that you can own it. It can be yours. Glory. Hallelujah. 
Blessed be the name of our God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes. Listen to this. This is where I wanted to go with this verse. He changes the times and the seasons. So how many of you know we've got to be connected with God? If we want to ride into this new, into this, into this new season, if we want to shift into greater, I mean, we can have all of these topics and we can say all of these hashtags and all of these things are good. And it's certainly good for me, but what keeps me rooted and grounded? What keeps me going? What keeps me speaking affirmations and walking in courage of faith is because I can find it in the word of God. And so the word Word of God says here that it's God that changes the times and the seasons. And that's found in Daniel, the second chapter. That's the 20th and the 21st verse for those again who are writing. So go get that promise from Daniel, the second chapter, the 21st verse. It's God. It's all God. I need you to get excited about it. I dare you to get excited about the shift that's coming your way. You grab a hold of that thing. You know, we got to see it before we can see it. We've got to believe it in our hearts before we can possess it. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is getting ready to lose anything and everything that has been holding you down or holding you back. I'm here to tell somebody on this afternoon that the Holy Spirit is about to visit you with great power and anointing, giving you new clarity and wisdom. Glory, hallelujah. But you must get ready. So tell yourself, I'm ready to shift. I'm ready to shift. It's time that we aggressively hear me out, destiny listeners. We must aggressively lay hold of the great future that God has planned for you. He has a great plan that, that that's it's specifically for you. He says, if you call to me and I will answer you, I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. That's Jeremiah 33rd chapter in the third verse, Jeremiah 33rd chapter in the third verse. So just as he spoke those things through Jeremiah, God is speaking to us today. He says that if you call unto me, glory be to God, call out to me in the midst of the pandemic, call out to me in the midst of your hurt and your pain, call out to me in the midst of you struggling financially. He said, if you call Call unto me, I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things. Glory be to God. But we must cry out to him and we've got to ask God for the turnaround. We've got to ask God to turn this thing around, turn it around. There is going to be a time of God's special favor. And I believe that now is the time, but it's a time of God's special favor, his increase and the overflow in your life. He is getting ready to arise (laughs) and scatter those enemies, those things that have been coming up against you, the, the, the plots and the plans and the schemes. God is getting ready to cause those things to scatter. Glory to God. It is time for your shift. It is time for your shift. We've got to position ourselves for greater. Because listen, without movement, there is no momentum. I'm going to say it again. Without movement, there is no momentum. So now we've got to prepare ourselves and get ourselves. We're telling ourselves, we're filling ourselves with faith, wisdom, and insight by the word of God. So we're filling our spirit and in our spirit, we know, we know with God, we know that all things are possible with and through God. And so we know that while we are filling our spirit on the word of God, there's something that we must do in the natural, in our natural man. It's so Something we must do, and that is we must prepare to get into position, and then now we must act. We must act by faith. We must move by faith. We must live by faith. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Look at Isaiah, the 40th chapter. Isaiah, the 40th chapter, the fourth through the fifth verse says, Every valley in your life shall be exalted. Woo, glory to God. The crooked places in your life shall be made straight and the rough places in your life will be made smooth. Glory be to God. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed to you for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Come on here. I want to read that one more time. That is so powerful and it's so good to me because when I'm calling out to God, when I'm praying unto almighty God, I said, God, I know that you will make the crooked places straight. 
Glory be to God. So every valley in your life shall be exalted. The crooked places in your life shall be made straight and the rough places in your life is going to be made smooth. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed to you for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. So that means this is giving you your momentum right here. That was enough word right there to fuel you up, to get you going, to get you moving because you know that God is on your side. You know that God is fighting for you. Come on here, somebody. Come on here. Shifting means that you've got to evaluate a thing and then you must act on it. Uh, I'm going to say it again. Shifting means that you must evaluate and then you must act. (laughs) You've got to act on that thing and we've got to stop letting dead things hold us down. Listen, if it's dead, bury it. If it's dead, bury it. Did you know that anything dead can't hurt or have an effect on you? Many things are draining us. Hear me and hear me well. Many things are draining us and we let them drain us. But they're dead. So if they're dead in your life, meaning they're null and void, there's not, they're not active. They're not contributing anything to you. They don't give you any forward motion. Think about those things that are inactive in your life and they are draining you. They are holding you back. What do you have to do? Detach from it. So you must evaluate and then act. Cut it off. Dead things don't grow. See la moment. Dead things don't grow. We've got to be conscious of that thing. We've got to evaluate and evaluate some more. We've got to move on it, act on it, and then and then continue forward. Continue forward and to trust God in this thing. Yeah, you may have been in a valley, but what did you learn from that valley experience? God's word just told us that he's going to exalt those things. He's going to cause us to grow from that thing. So take what we must from it, from that season, from that time, take what we must from it and learn from it and move forward. Oh, look at yourself and tell yourself, look at yourself in the mirror. Talk to yourself. Say, this is my winning season. This is my time to shift. Oh, it's so much going on around us. (laughs) <laughs> it is. Indeed, it is. But the word of the Lord, if it encompasses you, it, it, you know, if, if it surrounds you, if you fight your battles through the word of the Lord, come on here by worshiping almighty God. There's nothing, nothing too great for God to handle. There is nothing, nothing too mighty or more powerful, or more dominant than our God. Our majesty, our master, he is the one, he is the great God who is calling us into a season, into a place that we need to shift. We need to think ourselves out of this thing through the word of God. We need to act on it by the word of God. We need to believe it within our hearts. That is how we're going to come out of the wilderness If you're in that wilderness experience and it's time, you know, you've had enough and it's time, it's time for you to depart. (laughs) It's time for you to depart and come up out of that thing. The only way you're going to get up out of that thing and don't even smell like smoke is if you go through and go by it by the word of God, by the book, open the book, get into the word of God. See those promises become manifestations in your life. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Listen to what Lamentations tells us in the third chapter, the 22nd and the 24th or the 23rd verse. It says, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Oh my God. One of my favorite verses here, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, great is thy faithfulness towards you. Oh God, that you have so much faithfulness in me, Father God, that when I grab a hold of this faith, that when I process this faith, but even further than that, that when I move by faith, oh Lord God, 
Oh God, your word tells me, Father God, that you'll, you'll give to me manna, each and everything, spiritual manner, that you're feeding me every day, spirit to spirit, oh Lord God, and that I can move in you, that I can live in you, and that I can have my very being under the presence of Almighty God. Your mercies, Father God, they are new to me every morning. Oh God, I thank you for your mercies. I thank you for your love. I thank you for the compassion that you have for me. Oh God, that you send your son, that he would die, that he bled and he died just for me, for the remission of my sins, Father God. You love me just that much that you want me to have the abundant life, Father God. Oh God, and I thank you, Father God. I thank you right now, even in this, Father God, that you're moving me into a place of greater. Glory be to God. Clap your hands if you can. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Give God praise right where you are. Glory, glory to your Lord God. God, I thank you for shifting that's taken place in this season. I thank you for the shift. Change is all a part of God's plan. And this is why, because it offers endless, it offers endless possibilities and, and hope. And so we can know that just as God promised Joshua, listen to what he said to Joshua. He says, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. It's the same thing he told to Abraham and all of the others. God's promise is his word and his word tells us that he will not leave us nor forsake us, that he will be with us even until the very end of the world. Glory be to God. So here's what I'm saying to you on this afternoon. God will use our lives bruises. He will use those very things that hurt us. He will use those things because he has the ability. Oh God, he has the ability to reverse the curse. Glory to God. Come on here. I know somebody shouting with me. He has the ability to reverse the curse. He can shift the momentum of whatever mess that you might find yourself in. Oh my God, God can shift that momentum. He can, he can transfer your problem into a promise. Oh, glory to God. Come on, a shift is coming. A shift is coming. In Mark, the fifth chapter, it says around verse 22, it says, don't be afraid, only believe. We've got to keep on believing. We've got to keep on trusting. Listen, don't give up. God can turn your setbacks into comebacks. I am a living witness. God will, God will turn those things around. He'll turn it around. He'll turn it around. He'll turn it around. You just got to believe. You just got to keep going. Don't you give up. God is going to turn that situation around. He'll turn it around and it'll come back to you as good. Come on. It'll come back to you as profit. Come on here, somebody. You'll be prosperous. You'll be walking on top of that thing. Come on. Somebody say, God will play place it under my feet. Oh, glory to God. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Following Christ, it, 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 you know, it, it, it's a new way. It, it, it's a way of, uh, of living, um, uh, of seeing, uh, of thinking, of being. You've got, you know, it, it, it's a greater level. It's a greater calling, if you will. So if you don't know Christ, I invite you, let him into your heart. Salvation is free. He said, if you confess with your mouth and if you believe it in my heart. So for any new believers, anyone want to be converted into Christianity, those who want to know God, those who want to live in the light, all you've got to do is say, God, I believe. Say, God, I surrender. I give up the evil ways. I give up living in the kingdom of darkness. God, God, I surrender. God, make me a part of the family. Come on here, somebody. I'm making this thing as, as, as real as possible, as, as, as simple as it is. God says, just only believe. You've got to believe. Grab a hold to that faith. Grab a hold to that, that, that the, the, the seed, if you will, the size of a mustard seed faith. Grab a hold to that and then get in your word and watch God. Turn the mess into momentum in your life. 
We've got to know that we are being prepared for another level of glory. We are being prepared for another level of glory. Um, and as a church, um, we, we, you know, we're leaving an old season, if you will, and we're shifting into a new season. We're shifting into a new season. God desires to give us insight to see our new season. He wants us to be able to see beyond the present circumstances and the present changes that are going on. And he wants to enable us to be able to see into the divine future, if you will, and the divine season that he has already, already set up and planned for us. Get ready. Get ready. God is shifting us. He's shifting us into a new season. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the show on today. We invite you to find out more information about the Lady Cook Ministries. Find out how you can connect to the glow. You can go to our website at www.ladycookministries.org. Well, until next week, we hope that you be blessed. Live in the power and in the presence of Almighty God. We wish you much love. We wish you peace and we wish you much success into your greater. God bless you. Remember to glow big.